So we create was nice enough to send over their new Vision fully enclosed 20 watt diode laser setup. And I just took it out of the box, so I still need to unpack it and set it all up. And with it being fully enclosed, it's almost ready to go right out of the box. And they were able to pack everything you need for it inside the laser itself, along with a lot of packing foam. And of course, it comes with a detailed instruction manual to walk you through how to set this up and use it. I was also happy to see that it came with a few pieces of wood, so you have some practice materials to work with right out of the box. And there's also two test pieces to show that the machine is working properly when it was packed. And as you can see, everything looks pretty good and there's a lot of detail in this cat engraving. And the rest of the parts are just in these two boxes. And they're actually pretty snug in this foam, so it's easier to just take it all out in one piece. But with that out and removing all the rest of the foam, we can finally see all of the inside of the machine, along with the 20 watt laser head. And it's nice to see that this already has an air assist line hooked up to the laser head. And it seems like everything moves around smoothly on the X and Y axis. And one thing I found interesting about this setup is that it has a camera built in, and it's actually right here in the middle of the machine on the lid. And this comes in really handy so you can actually see where you're going to be engraving or cutting. There's also a removable tray at the very bottom of the machine. This will protect whatever's underneath this from the laser itself when it's cutting, along with acting as a catch for parts that you've cut out. But let's actually get this thing set up and going. And this is all done on the back of the machine. And as you can see, there's a few ports here and everything is clearly labeled. And you're able to connect to this by plugging in USB or over Wi-Fi. And because of the enclosure, this is considered a class one laser. Laser. And this basically means that it's safe to use without any eye protection. Unlike open frame lasers or class 4, that can damage your eyes if you're not wearing the proper protection. And that also means everyone else in the room is going to need the same protection, including children and pets. But anyways, here's everything all set up on the back of the machine now. And it was honestly a pretty simple setup. And it's definitely nice that it comes with its own air assist pump as well. And it plugs into the laser itself, so that's where it gets its power and turns on and off based on what you're doing. And with that all done, I can finally turn the machine on and kind of watch it transform, because the whole top of this laser will lift up, and it almost seems like it doubles in size, which is definitely something I've never seen any other lasers do before. And this basically has two different functions. One of them obviously is making a bigger work area for you, allowing you to engrave on taller objects. So if you remove the laser bed, you can get something in there that's about five and a half inches or 140 millimeters. And the second thing is it works with the auto focusing system, allowing it to move the entire laser assembly up and down and using laser radar to figure out the perfect focus. This also has built in lights right inside the lid, and if you open the lid, they'll turn off so they're not shining directly in your face and then turn back on as soon as you close it and this does have a removable cutting area as well that comes in two pieces and it's a bunch of different little slots and this just kind of sits in place and it's easy to remove but definitely a must-have if you're cutting things and of course you can do engraving on this as well as long as your parts not gonna fall through it and I'm going to be using some of the wood that came with this laser so I can do some of my own test cuts and engraving and just so you know the maximum size of material you can put in here is 475 millimeters by 318 millimeters and to control this laser you have a few options options. And one of those options is a software from WeCreate. And you're able to use this on Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS. And of course, this software is free. And they're also going to be supporting Lightburn on this laser, which is a $60 software, but it's not currently supported. And this is the WeCreate software, which is honestly pretty easy to use. And it has some built-in tools that will make things quick and easy, like making my material test sheet. And once I have that all set up, I just send it over to the laser, and then you have to push the button on the front of it to actually start your process. And from there, I just have to wait for it to finish. And here we go. These are always really good guides so you can see what the laser is going to do at different speeds and powers to the material you're going to be working on. That way you can engrave something without blowing a hole through it like I did at the bottom of this. And with that said, there's actually a feature in the software that I've never seen before. And it looks like they went through and took the time to do this to different materials and put it all in the software so you can see it and just click on whatever you want. And from this dropdown, you can see that they did this to a lot of different materials. So definitely a very helpful tool that's going to save you a lot of time and materials. And I just started up a simple picture to see how it did. And you can see how bright this is when you have a camera inside the enclosure compared to outside of it. And there we go, it came out looking pretty good. And this was a fake PNG file, so you can kind of see the checkered pattern in the background. And you can also see some smoke staining right here, which really isn't the end of the world because you can remove it with an alcohol wipe. And this is basically what I do with everything instead of masking it off with painter's tape. And you can see it cleans up pretty good. And when you're engraving things, you're going to have some options, like if you want to just use engrave or if you want to use fill engrave. And as you can see with these, they have a completely different look to them. And the only setting I changed was a type of engraving. So there's definitely still some testing you're going to have to do to make sure you get the results you want. And there is kind of a sweet spot for detail and size. Both of these were done on the same material using the same settings, just scaled up and down. And obviously you can see more detail in the larger one. 
You can mark on metals with this laser, but it has to be stainless steel or a metal with a coating on it like this aluminum business card. But if you are trying to engrave on something that's pretty lightweight like this, make sure you have something to tack it in place or hold it down because either the air assist or the fan from the laser will blow it around. And as you can see, I learned the hard way about this. So after fixing that small problem and redoing this, it came out looking pretty good. And you can do this with any anodized metal or anything that has paint on it. And I did try to use these same settings on the stainless steel card. And as you can see, it didn't come out too well and definitely needs to move a little slower or have more power or maybe even both but you can get really dark black markings on stainless steel using these faster settings and all you need to do is spray the part with this and engrave on top of it but like i said you can always slow it down and up the power and get some really dark markings like this and it really does leave some really crisp lines but i definitely used a little too much power and it kind of made this card deform a little bit so i'm still going to have to adjust my settings so i can prevent this from happening in the future and there's even a rotary option for this, so you'll be able to mark on round objects. And there's definitely a decent amount of materials that you can use this on, and make a lot of different custom things. And as of recording this video, they are running a holiday sale, so you can save about $200 on the base unit, and a little more depending on the package you get. And of course, they have a few different package options that come with different accessories at different price points. And so you know this is a sponsored video by WeCreate, so this is obviously not a review. More of an overview of what this laser can do, and that it's an option. But if you do have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And I'll make sure to have links to everything I showed in this video down in the description as well. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.